Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of the Real USC Show. We are back and we're going to be hitting some episodes. Episode 3, let's get into it. Wide receiver room. Alright, so basically, my thoughts in this wide receiver room, I'm not going to say it's the most talented one that we've had at South Carolina, like I said with the running backs and quarterbacks, because it's not. I don't think it's even close. But do I think this wide receiver room is talented? Yeah. Do I think I don't think it's the best one? Do I think it's untalented? No. Do I think it's talented? Yes. And I think there's a lot of talent in it. And a lot of these guys are just they have to step up. Shy Smith, Xavier Leggett, two guys that I really think can, are really good and I think can really step up. And then you have or, you know you're probably thinking, what about Ortray? What about Josh Fan? Ortray, uh, Josh Fan can't stay healthy and they gotta stay I feel like they could be really good if they could stay healthy but they just cannot stay healthy and that is their main main concern it's been their concern the whole time and that's basically what this video is going to be about break get into it there's also some guys that are new to receiver that we're going to be talking about and some guys that we're going that are coming up Mike Wyman one guy I'm really looking forward to looking at I think he's going to be really good but you know, but so let's dive right into it so before I talk about how I, how I want how before I talk about um for, first thing I want to talk about is the new guys going into wide receiver and the new guy and the new guys that are going to wide receiver one Jay Yurick one two is to carry on Jordan now Jay Yurick I think is gonna be a really good wide receiver but you know I think he's gonna be an even better wide receiver is to carry on Jordan because I think the carry on is such a good athlete it's not even funny the carry on Jordan is gonna be I think if DeCarion Jordan has Joe Cox can coach him right, I think DeCarion could be like an NFL wide receiver, but I think he could be like a Pharaoh Cooper type guy. Or you know how Taysom Hill is on the Saints. Like that kind of guy. Because he's a f- athletic, he's a really he's insanely athletic. I feel like he can throw it really I feel like he's got a really good arm. He's really fast. I feel like if he could just now if he could just have hands then boom, that's like that's like a what triple threat, literally. Yeah, I think Dak is a really good player. He's a really good athlete. Because I wasn't too crazy on him when we first got him. I didn't think, no, I don't think this guy is really that good. But I was like, okay. This, and I saw him play that Chattanooga game. I was like, okay, he's he's not bad. He's really fast. And then when I saw, then, you know, they said when Ryan beat him out for the second spot and during the summer and fall camp and everything, and I thought, I thought he, I thought he made a transfer, and then Muschamp was like, eh, "He's gonna be, he's gonna be playing against North Carolina," and you know we saw him at that wide receiver position, taking some. Uh, we saw him in that wide receiver position a couple times, and man, that guy, that guy's good. I, that guy's really good. He's really fast. He can, if he can run, if he can figure out how to run routes and catch the ball, he'd be amazing. He'd be really good, and I feel like. I feel like he could be like an NFL wide receiver because I feel like he's one of the best athletes we've had since Savelle Newton. And I think Savelle was a really good athlete, but I think the carry on is a better athlete. And the carry on, I feel like it's like Pharaoh because Pharaoh was a quarterback, I think, in high school, but he committed as an athlete. And, you know, I think he was, he, I think he was very underrated, and he was really, and he was really good. He could throw it, he could catch. He was fast. I think the carry on is the same way, but I think, I think. To carry on bigger, I may be mistaken, but I think he is bigger. So, yeah, and, and Jay Yurick I think is really good too, because I saw him in the spring game playing at wide receiver. I was like, hey, he's, and I saw him when he, when he got that screen. He went like 62 yards at the end, and I was like, hey, that's that's pretty good for a dude that just played quarterback. So, I thought, okay, doesn't look bad. And. uh yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. That's basically it on that part. Um, now we're gonna move on to injured in got. Now we're gonna move on to the next part, which is the guys that have to be able to stay healthy. And with this new strength and conditioning staff, I think they can. And uh, that is Josh Van and Trey Smith. Can they stay healthy? That is the question. That is the very question that we're all wondering. I just don't know if they can stay healthy or not. Or Trey, he had that knee problem, and you know that that was that was just like a old thing that had been hurt that had been hurt for a while. 
and uh, yeah, so that was tough. Um, Van broke his hand against Vandy. I remember that he. I think he did. I think he didn't he have an ACL or something. I think he had like an ACL or something. ACL or something. Fresh his freshman season. So I mean, he can't stay healthy either. It's just, it just hasn't been good. It just has not been good for the wideouts. Yeah, I th- but I think those two, those two guys, I think are could be really good wide receivers if they could stay healthy. But that is one thing they cannot do, and I, it, I don't think they'll be able to do. But I think, but I think they could be able to do it because I think if they could stay healthy, they could really develop and become really good players. And I think Josh Fan could. Because Josh Van could even more than Ortre, because I feel like Van is a really good receiver. He's, I think he's got really good hands, and I feel like he's good size. I think he can make a lot of good catches. And you know, Ortre, he's really, Ortre is really big, and he's strong, and he's physical. I mean, Ortre will just bust through all the tackles and score the touchdowns, but just break you break tackles and all that stuff. But you know they they just gotta stay healthy, and with this with this new strength and conditioning staff, I think they should be able to. And uh, that's uh, you know, it's just and that's my one concern: can they stay healthy? And that's why I think there's so many uncertainties, unknowns, because you don't know. Now I move on to the two that I think are really good, but have not really proved it yet. One it was only a f- one Xavier Leggett. He was only a freshman. Who. Leggett was only a freshman last year. He's an athlete coming out of high school. Um, he's I think he's a really good receiver. He just he's gotta learn to catch that hard ball like when Ryan threw it and he on the App State game he threw a really hard hard ball to him and it bounced off his hands and the App State guy ran it back for a pick six. Yeah, and a lot of people were blaming Ryan for that. No, that's not Ryan. That's Leggett because Leggett's gotta catch that ball. There's no excuse for not catching that ball. I mean, Ryan throws a hard ball, and Leggett's got to know when Ryan throws a bullet, it's going to be a hard ball, and you, you've got to catch that. That's just one thing he's got to be able to catch. And, you know, basically, and uh, I think, uh, man, I think, but I think Leggett could be a really good player, and I think he's the next guy that could be really good. And I think he can make all the good. I think he can make all the good catches and make a lot of. I think he could be the next like go-to guy after Shy graduates, and that's the guy I want to talk about next. Shy Smith, and I know a lot of y'all like Shy and think Shy's really good, and I think he is too. But I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna admit it. Shy, ever since his freshman year, has does not catch the ball very well, and he does, and he runs terrible routes. He's just not a good route runner. He's and he's. He's not a good route runner. He doesn't, and he's he's fast, but he's not a good route runner. And he doesn't. He's not. He can't catch the ball. And I mean, he's really fast, and I feel like he could be a really good receiver. But he just he's gotta catch the ball. And that is his one problem. He can't catch the ball. And that is why he has not really developed since his freshman year. And I think that's why he's mainly got worse. I mean, he only caught two touchdowns this year. You know, and it was a very, very difficult year. Ryan, you had Ryan thrust in the role. You had Shai Smith, just smart shy. You know, he got he he got hurt, and you know he came back. He couldn't. And when Brian went down, he couldn't step up. And now, can he step up this year? If if we have a season, can he step up this year? We don't. We don't know. He, it's it's his time to step up. And if he can't step up, then then we're kind of screwed. Because if he if if because I felt like shy, shy's game to be known was the Georgia game in 2018. If they had if because I feel like with Georgia double teaming Debo in that game, if they had hit shy a bunch, boom, then like shy's got the ball. I mean, then that's when I think that's when everybody would have known shy shy Smith's name. But they, and I think if he had a big game that game, I think we win that game, and I think. If he has a big game against Alabama, I think we win that game too. I think we could win that game too. But you know, he just Shy Smith just did not did not live up to his expectations. But can he still do that? Of course, he's got this one year, and that's it. It's his last shot. It's his last shot, last chance. He's a senior. He's got to step up, and if he can't, 
I don't know where it, that could decide our season or not. That could decide our season. Depends on if Leggett or if Banner or Trey decide to step up or stay and stay healthy and stuff like that. And it also and but one other guy I'm looking forward to is Mike Wyman. I think he's a really good wide receiver coming out of high school. He's a freshman. I think he was a four star. Might be mistaken, but yeah, I think he's really good. But Joe Cox, wide receivers coach. Let's see what he can do. Um wide receivers need to be these wide receivers Joe Cox better coach up these wide receivers because these wide receivers need to be good we need we need these wide receivers to be sharp if these wide receivers aren't if these wide receivers aren't as good then I mean I think Joe Cox should really coach them up to being really good wide receivers and I feel like he could coach the carry on and shy and Leggett and or Trey all up to be really great wide receivers, but I just I don't you don't know. There's too many unknowns. If that's if we have the season, but it's just all gonna depend on what happens this year with the co with the coronavirus and everything. I'm gonna make a video on my thoughts for the on what will happen for coronavirus. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna wait to break down teams to see if they're actually gonna play the season because they just extended the deadline for recruiting and stuff like that you know so anyways that's one of my thoughts about the wide receivers they gotta they really have to step up and gotta gotta hit gotta make some crashes and score some touchdowns that's all i'm gonna say because i feel like ryan can make the throws but can the wide receivers make the catches and run the routes but anyways that's pretty much it for that um a few updates real quick uh stream's still going as normal um uh, episode four, um, I think tight end. That's yeah, tight ends and offensive line coming out on uh, today. Or to, um, I'll be finishing that up tomorrow or Saturday, but it'll be released Saturday or Sunday. Um, and then we have after that, and then we have that. And then we'll break down. Then we'll do. We'll break down. Coastal and ECU on the same video on the same video because those aren't going to take as long and then and then we'll break down and then we'll start doing then we'll break down um then we'll start breaking down defense and then we'll finish all the teams I'm going to try and do um if we NCAA games on on here but I'm just I'm still trying to figure it out on my Xbox 360 because I can't figure out how to do videos on there, but we'll figure it out, guys. Don't worry. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, keep checking in. Um, and uh, sorry about I haven't posted recently. I posted a uh, episode recently, a real episode recently, but we'll hopefully be continuing on this and. Uh, We'll continue doing exhibitions on 2K, but after that, see you guys next time. Bye.